on this episode of Lapeef Let's Talk. I don't care if Anton likes me. I don't care if Rilla likes me. If we got to go build this motherfucking building, I'm going to go build a building and we're going to go win this contract. What his politics are, who he's fucking, what color dog he has is irrelevant. Let's get this <laughs> money. <laughs> Kevin, I don't can care I ask about you? all this emotion shit. And that's the problem. We got a matriarchy. So we got to sit, go watch Bear Grylls Island season two and watch how the men on Island one and the women on Island two. And you'll see what happens when women are in charge. By the end of week five, the women hadn't even elected a leader because they still wanted to lead by committee. I understand Anton. Anton is Anton. And you're going to have Antons like you're going to have Trumps and you're going to have Obamas. But they're excellent in their own ways. They're fucked in their own ways. Just like I'm excellent in my own ways, I'm fucked in my own ways. But when we got to build a building, we go build that shit and we worry about the task at hand. We'll, we don't have to be friends. In 1984, a man by the name of Thomas Bradley, was, they, he, was running, he, was a, he was the mayor of uh, L.A. He was running for governor. And ask anybody in California, we're going to vote for Bradley. We're going to vote for Bradley. We're going to vote for Bradley. They went in and he was a shoe in. Matter of fact, they called it for Bradley. The next one they counted votes, he lost. And what happened was everybody, because of the Cosby show, the Olympics were there. When you asked non-black voters, the pressure to say Bradley was so high. But when they went into that voting booth and no one was looking, they voted their conscience. If we're going to do this, the black business the black scenario needs to be the best in the booth so people can still vote their conscience whether you move like you move or whether you move like courtney moves that when you win both ways but but um if i can buddy in you have to believe that black can be or is excellent or has can exude excellence i think what um and y'all can correct me if i'm wrong courtney k and, and whomever you were saying like the black community or just there's excellence that exudes, right? Well, I think Anton, your point is, is like you won't even consider excellence because you're looking at character before you even think, attack excellence. The, well, excellence is oh, excellence. Let me, let, me, I wanna, let me see if I heard something. You said you have to believe that black can be excellent. Is that what I heard? Well, I shouldn't have to believe black oh, can no, be no, excellent. Me, but that's the thing. I, I want to say, I, I hear what you're saying. But if black can be excellence, excellence shows itself. Absolutely. But here's the thing. So I support black. So you business. don't have to believe it. It would be it will be self-evident. I understand that, Kevin. So in terms of supporting black businesses, right, you I support it. Something happens. And then, then I recognize, OK, you're not operating out of excellence because you can you can brand yourself and you can present yourself in a way to where I think, OK, they got it together. But until you actually interact with a said business or a said person, then they actually show their true colors or they show their character. Cause you, you meet some, you have to actually interact with someone before you even get to know their character, before you even get to know how they run their business. So right. you have to actually have right. an exchange. Right. So, and so what you... Anton is saying is he won't even, he won't even consider inter like you won't well, even. Then here, let me, let me explain to you. The problem is then it's on, then but see, the thing is, that's what we tend to mess up because we exclude the Antons. Then if Anton's burden is higher, then if you want his business, you got to earn it. Just like everybody else does. How many times if I, if I go to... Anybody ever go to Papa Doe? Uh, all the time. Why? Papa, Doe, Papa Doe, people, people go to Papa Doe all the time because no matter where you go, they have a it's standard. Amazing. I know the Chris and Harris Pappas. I know what's in that recipe book. They <laughs> employ the best. So when they put out a product, it's the best. So when they charge you $40 for a piece of fish, they don't blink. Mm -hmm. And people will stand in line for two, three hours on Mother's Day. They'll fight you to get a table. Yes, they will. If we want to compete with Papa Doe, we got to beat Papa Doe. If they, we can cook as good as they can, but do we run a business like they do? I agree. Yeah. So excellence wow. is self-evident. I'll give you an example of like when, and that I made, regard, when I made my YouTube channel. When I started, I didn't know what I was doing. Go back and look at some of my original videos. There's been a lightning, been a leap in, in production value and everything else because I am a black male image consultant heterosexual. Mm -hmm. Nobody wanted to hear what I was talking about. Even the message I was talking about, I had to keep working and working. And I, I am the same man I was three years ago 
But mm -hmm. I had to make myself excellent for the market to see something different. Absolutely. But again, nobody, nobody put you in a, in a box and be like, okay, you, and kept you where you were three years ago is what I'm saying is that they that's put me in the box. but the I'm thing not, is you can't put me in if they did and I fought my way out of it right and I'm not saying shun people that think like Anton at all I'm just trying to open up the fact that in order to because because when I answered the question I said that you can do both that was my answer is that you can the the black community and the community as a whole can contribute to the growth to the community so that was my response but i'm trying to open up people's view to see like yes you can support the black community even if you don't subscribe to well, being let me, let me explain one of the problems that we're going to always have this is a problem between men and women your feelings are involved mm -hmm. this is why we need a patriarchy you should be in the conversation no way it's between men I don't care if Anton likes me. I don't care if Rilla likes me. If we got to go build this motherfucking building, I'm going to go build a building and we're going to go win this contract. What his politics are, who he's fucking, what color dog he has is irrelevant. Let's get what this money. <laughs> Kevin, I don't can care I about all this emotion shit. And that's the problem. We got a matriarchy. So we got to sit, go watch Bear Grylls Island season two and watch how the men on Island one and the women on Island two and you'll see what happens when women are in charge. By the end of week five, the women hadn't even elected a leader because they still wanted to lead by committee. I understand Anton. Anton is Anton. And you're going to have Antons like you're going to have Trumps and you're going to have Obamas. But they're excellent in their own ways. They're fucked in their own ways. Just like I'm excellent in my own ways, I'm fucked in my own ways. But when we got to build a building, we go build that shit and we worry about the task at hand. We'll, we don't have to be friends. We ain't gotta hey, like each other. I, I understand. I understand but, you. But, that's how men, so, but, but what I'm saying is all things being equal. If I, I believe truly that if you want to build a black community and have black, we have to begin where everyone else begins power and excellence. I agree. And Kevin. And if and let me say one last thing. Maybe you don't win over the people that you think think like Anton initially, but that but you win over the majority and slowly but surely, if you're doing what you're supposed to do, they'll come try Papa Doe. Yeah, come try Papa Doe. Come try Papa Doe. Let's see everybody Kevin, going to Papa Doe. We're trying to get Wait. it in Nashville. Kevin, it's Kevin, right. please let me ask you this question. Wait. So do do you have hold any? On, Lauren, Lauren, hold on, Lauren had something. What, Lauren? Wait, Lauren? go ahead, go ahead. After you, Lauren, I gotta get out. You absolutely after can, you. Okay. you absolutely okay. can. The same way Courtney stated how she responded to the question mm -hmm. is how mm -hmm. I responded to the. I, I, is me stating how I responded to the question. I'm I'm not trying to win anybody over. I was just responding to the question and trying to seek understanding. I'm not trying mm -hmm. to be the lead or say that's not what I'm trying to do by any means. The same way Courtney said, that's how she responded to the question. It's how I said, this is how I responded to the question. And I'm trying to understand where he's coming from. That's all. So well, I, don't I, understand I, emotion, I don't understand how emotion got wrapped into this by any means. Well, well, I, because it's, it's, a, me it's, about a, it's about a feeling. Sure. But I'm, I mean. Okay. It, and and, and, biz, and, and there's, just like the, the old line uh, in League of Their Own, there's no crying in baseball. Men, women, are, you, I always use this analogy. Men's minds are like waffles in general. Every little square, and we can compartmentalize it really a lot easier than women. You still have the ability, but it's not your nature. Women's minds more like a plate of spaghetti where everything tends to touch. Mm 